Hi, it's Amy from Mastery Stretch, and I wanted to give you some tips on establishing a good nighttime ritual. Why is this important? It helps our sleep. So if we're go, go, go all day, we need to come down and start to relax. You have to let your body relax at night so you will uh, be ready to go to sleep. Um, so establishing a nighttime ritual is very important. Um, personally, I like to take a bath at night. Um, and if you take a, a, a hot or warm bath, I don't know how they call it baths. <laughs> um, when you get out, your body temperature is raised, so it starts to cool down, which is what actually naturally happens when you go to sleep. Your body starts to, the temperature starts to drop. So you're, you're starting that process all, already by taking a hot shower or a hot bath. So I like to take a hot bath. I like to have a, a cup of tea at night as well, but I stop before at least a half an hour, any, any fluids, a half an hour before I go to bed. That way I won't have to wake up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. So especially warm liquids, they go right through me. So, um, so having a cup of tea, but again, stopping those fluids a half hour or an hour before you go to bed. So you won't be disturbed um, by having to get up for a pee break. Um, reading is also very nice. It calms everything down. Now being on your screens, uh, that light from your screens, make sure you're using the nighttime setting, um, but any lights at all are gonna signal your body to wake up, so we don't want that. So dim the lights, don't have all the lights on at night, dim the lights, put on a little lamp, do some reading. Um, I mean, you can watch TV, whatever, but just be conscious about an hour before you go to bed, you probably wanna be off the screens because again, that signals the body to stay awake. Um, so I hope those tips help. Uh, let me know what your little nighttime rituals are. I love to know and just leave in the comments below. So until next time, this is Amy from Master Stretch. Bye for now.